This is the uh, Nano Goblin that I've just converted over from DJI Vista and Cadex Vista to DJI O3. And that's looking nice. But that obviously left me with a Vista unit, this one here, that didn't have a plane or anything to go in. And that would be a shame. So I looked at my Zod Dart 250G and thought I can do better with that. At the moment it had an analog transmitter. So I bought a new frame and this is the motor. I just bought the basic kit and this is the motor ESC out of the original. And I've swapped over the flight controller to a 405 WTE, which was originally in the nano drag, in the mini drag. I didn't think it had enough current handling, but that's I've put into here. And with a bit of modification, I've managed to fit this all in the back. Now, if you know the, the Dart 250G, the back looks a bit like that. But that doesn't give me any access. So what I've done is instead of using this stick on bit, I've cut this piece out here. That now fits around here neatly, if I can get the wires out of the way. That fits around here neatly. So that'll fit nicely there. Okay, it is a bit of a tight fit into these small airframes. So that fits there. And that gives me access to the flight controller. I like to re I always like to use cables I can pop in and out if I want to change things. The Cadex will go at the front, giving me lots of room for the battery to go in. And to cover up this top, I found a, a cover to replace this on Thingiverse and I've stretched it created a little latch at the top that fits in nicely at the front here I'll just do it in my right hand and there's a magnet at the back so that gives gives it a lot of a look like the Dart XL actually so that gives lots of airflow and lots of space for the uh, flight controller so that's next to be put together I'm going to use ELRS which means I can embed one of these aerials into the rear tail so there'll be nowhere nothing in the airflow and for the GPS I'll be using this Flywoo Nano M10 and it's absolutely minute that will be in the wing embedded in the wing so that won't be in the airflow so it's going to be quite a slippery wing at the end of this so that's the next thing to do on the workbench I was asked for the dimensions of the tail sitter from the previous video. So here they are. The wingspan is the width of the foam board. I measured it as 752mm. But because I work in millimetres, everything else is whole lumps basically. Uh, the main wing is at 180 at the ends and 280 in the middle. The extra piece is stuck on the top to produce the uh, extra lift. 90 at the side and 130 in the middle and the slots there 300 by 50 mil the end pieces are 180 by 150 i just cut little bits of the end off there just to make it a little bit cleaner when it's sitting down and cg is about 90 millimeters back from the point maybe 100 